Hi everyone, can you guess what today is? I'll give you a hint. It starts with a W. It's Wine Wednesday. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to see you guys. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. I appreciate you guys so much. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you would hit that little red subscribe button before you go. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Today we are doing another Wine Wednesday with a crock pot soup. It's like the season and we're not even into winter yet, but enjoying just making a couple of different things on the weekends, freezing them, putting them in Ziploc bags, taking them out whenever. It just makes life so much easier. So today we are doing a wine that I got back in June that my bosses gave me a case of uh, all different kinds of wines. So I'm getting around to open this one. This one is Be Lovely. It's a 2021 late harvest Riesling and this one is from Washington and I believe this one is 10.5% alcohol so not that strong at all so the back of it let's have a little saying here so it says I don't know why this does not want to focus but it says be sincere be generous be gracious be lovely we can't be lovely all the time, but our wine certainly should be. Refreshing and clean with a hint of sweetness, be lovely late harvest Riesling will charm with irresistible flavor and balance in every ship, every sip, not ship, I'm not going anywhere. Um, so it says produced and bottled by Be Lovely, Walla Walla. Washington and I did kind of google what late harvest meant and it just means that they let the grapes stay on the vine as long as possible that way it gets the most sugar in them so I guess that helps with the fermentation process so I'm looking forward to having this this is a screw cap so let me open that and get that poured in my glass so oh my gosh I am so excited to be having another soup another easy recipe and it just makes it really really easy i do not know why i didn't use my crock pot before my crock pots basically were for potluck dinners and and when we would um do like thanksgiving and christmas and things like that and have like an open house for like family to come whenever and we would just kind of use them for to keep heat things up you know we didn't really bake in them really missed missed a lot so catching up with trying to find a few recipes and things like that just makes it easy do a few things on the weekend and then just live on it during the week you know alrighty so let's pour a little bit in here and again I have never had this before I think I've only had a few Rieslings some I have had have been like really like appley but tart but bitter some of them are on the sweeter side. I think I had one from Wink that was really on the sweet side. Some of them can be drier. And I've got it in my, well, you can't see it. I do yoga. Just kidding. I drink wine in yoga pants. Alrighty. So this is a light, light yellow, like a straw yellow, I guess. It's not really coating my glass. I think I smell citrus. Maybe lemon. Maybe melon. Alrighty. Cheers, everyone. Mm. It is on the sweet side. It's um, it's like lemon, but you know, like you can get lemon drops that are sour, and then you can get lemon candies that are sweet. It's sweet, that kind of lemon. It's a very sweet lemon, a hint of apple, maybe. Um, just like a really sweet grape juice that's mixed in here so it's a very sweet wine but it's I'm not even going to say it's dry I'm, I'm going to say semi-sweet I, I didn't feel any kind of dryness sensation or anything like that but you just really do notice the sweet I'm not sure if this is perfect to go with my potato soup but you know we're going to go for it I got it open let's do it cheers everyone 
Mm. This really is a really nice wine. I would definitely buy this again. Put the cap on it. Keep it nice and fresh. So the soup that I made, it's a potato soup. And I know I made this years and years and years ago. Um, I have no idea if I had it in one of my Betty Crocker cookbooks or the different cookbooks that you buy, like Family Circle. Was that what that magazine used to be? And like Women's Day that you would get at the checkout for 25 cents back in the day. And they would have some fun recipes like that to try easy recipes. But anyway, I have no idea what I did with that one. So I just kind of Googled potato soup. And this one looked so easy. You use like frozen hash brown potatoes, whether you got diced potatoes or the shredded. I happen to have shredded in my freezer, so I use them. Um, you use the uh, cream of chicken soup, just a can. Um, it's an eight ounces of chicken stock. It just seemed really thick to me, so I ended up probably using all 32 ounces in a ranch, that ranch dip, the Hidden Valley Ranch. I put a packet of that in there. And then after it was done and I took my... Um, my little hand beater there kind of mushed it all together while it was cooked and made it nice and smooth and creamy mashed up those shredded hash brown potatoes then you cut up some cream cheese put it in there let it stir it let it melt in there so it makes it even thicker so i'm glad that i used the 32 ounces of the chicken stock or chicken broth whatever you want to call it and then later um, I just, uh, I didn't have any green onions in the house because I used them already, so, but I did have some frozen chives, so I decorated it with some frozen chives, chives, and then I had um, some bacon, and I just kind of sliced it up. I fried that in the pan, let it drain on some paper towels till it was ready to put on, and then I also put on some shredded cheddar cheese. The cheese melted right away. It was a little too hot, and and then I just had one of those frozen garlic twist that I put in the oven the last minute and so that is my soup so it's nice and rich and creamy it's got the the cheese from the cheddar cheese already melted in here we've got some bacon bits we've got the chives let's let's have a taste shall we so anyway it looks really good thick and creamy mmm It is good. It's nice and thick. It's kind of like sticks to your ribs when you're cold and it's damp outside and you maybe just came in from shoveling or playing with the kids making snowmen. Something like this. Kind of warm the soul. Mm. And of course garlic bread. Who doesn't love garlic bread? And the bacon. Adds a really nice touch too. Mm. So again, another really easy recipe, and I'm seeing if I mixed mixed anything, missed anything. But yeah, I'm looking forward to looking for some more different recipes to try during the week or cook on the weekend in the crock pot. And then just kind of have them, mix them up during the week if it's soup like that. It's easy enough to put some in those freezer Ziploc bags. Put some in the freezer. Put some in the refrigerator to have during the week for lunches. A quick little dinner. And then take more out when you need it. So, yeah. I'm looking forward to some more. If you have any handy, handy recipes, I would love to know what they are. And again, thank you to my bosses for getting me a case of wine for my birthday and again this one is really good if you like some sweet wines but not like overly sweet i think you would love this and again it's be lovely it's a late harvest riesling and it's from washington state Alrighty, so yeah thank you guys so much for stopping in spending you know, some time with me it means so much to me and i appreciate you guys so much um, and again, if you are new to my channel, I would love for you to click that subscribe button and join our family. Your comments, of course, are always welcome. Thumbs up are always appreciated. And again, on November 14th, I'm not sure when I'm going to post this, but hopefully it'll be before November 14th, seeing how I just mentioned it. I do have that giveaway. 
I will have that uh, video up there linked above. And um, if you do decide to check out that video and enter my giveaway, good luck, everyone. It's just my way of just saying thank you guys so much and just a little token of my appreciation. And again, I hope everyone goes out. Enjoy the rest of your week. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much. We'll see you in the next video.